five starts right now. Well, it's very upsetting. I just uh, can't say anything more. I'm a little emotional right now. Mourning the death of a San Luis Obispo police detective killed in the line of duty and the community showing support. It's our top story at five. Hello, thank you for joining us. I'm Scott Hennessy. While the investigation is still underway in this week's deadly police shooting, the San Luis Obispo community is trying to process what happened. News Channel 12 reporter Patricia Martellotti joins us live in San Luis Obispo with the outpouring of support. Patricia. Well, since the deadly shooting, people have been coming by the San Luis Obispo Police Department. They've been leaving flowers in the lobby area, as well as cards, gifts, even a Purple Heart. For the city of San Luis Obispo, the shooting that killed Detective Luca Benedetti and injured Detective Steve Orozco has hit home in more ways than one. From Joan Watson, who has lived here for more than half her life. It was just unbelievable. I don't know what happened here. To county agencies like Cal Fire Slow. It's always a tragic uh, thing when something like that happens, uh, and it affects all of us, you know, in the community, uh, in public safety. Adonna Rosco of Cal Fire says he has worked alongside Benedetti on occasion. While speaking with him outside the police department, he explained how there is a strong sense of brotherhood and sisterhood within the fire agencies. And that carries on to our law enforcement brothers and sisters as well. So when one of the other departments has an incident like this, we all feel that effect, you know. Inside the lobby of the police department, there are hundreds of flowers delivered from people all over the region. People have also sent gifts, cards, and even this Purple Heart. Well, it's very upsetting. I just uh, can't say anything more. I'm a little emotional right now. We're here to support them any way we can and uh, and just know that we are your neighbors, we're your family and, and we're here to stand by with you. While the investigation continues, the lobby area here at the police department remains closed to the public. For now, live in San Luis Obispo, Patricia Martellotti, News Channel 12.